Southeast Missouri head coach uh, Tom Antukowicz. Uh, the Red Hawks coming off their first loss to an FCS opponent this season. Uh, now 20th in the polls. They will uh, be at Tennessee State back into OVC play for um, their final uh, three games of the season. So, Coach, just some thoughts on your team. We'll go to some questions. Yeah, I just want to give EKU a ton of credit. You know, obviously they got a good football program, got some talented players, and uh, been through a lot. You know, Coach Wells survived a heart attack, and I couldn't imagine um, their team has gone through, he's gone through, and to be able to come into Hauk and beat us, you know, job well done. So certainly uh, give them credit. We uh, learned how we could get beat, and now we got to try to make sure that never happens again. Coach, uh, we'll go to questions. Jake, uh, you're up first if you have questions. Yeah, Coach, good morning. Um, I guess, you know, you mentioned that you learned how you can be beat. What did you see on, on film when you look back at that game? Well, I think uh, the obvious is the turnover thing. And so that's a, a team situation. You know, we turn it over three, uh, two pretty unforced errors, and then a uh, defensively we didn't create any. And so uh, if we go minus three this weekend, we'll get beat again. I mean, you just that that is the best equalizer there is, you know, and so uh, there's a little bit of some other things, but obviously the turnover margin is, is key. Yeah, Bryce said when we spoke with him on Saturday that that I guess he felt the coaching staff and his unit didn't feel like they put enough focus on forcing turnovers at last week of practice. Has that changed now that we're on Tuesday? Yeah, I mean, I <clears throat> kind of cut up there, but um, it's been an emphasis. Uh, we have seen some progress but we're not seeing the numbers move like they need to and I guess sometimes when you have an offense that can score at will almost I guess sometimes maybe that might get buried the, the turnover margin in terms of the ones that's created by your defense yeah for sure but you know that that's one thing on our offense is we got to do a better job of touchdowns instead of field goals you know that's been something we've talked a lot about this year but we haven't improved it and so uh man we gotta we gotta do a better job of that and it, it definitely we're gonna do red zone quicker normally we get to it on wednesday but we're gonna start on tuesday and make it a a, a bigger emphasis than we have all year i know you told me on saturday you were disappointed even going into halftime with a 13 nothing lead uh, just because there were a lot of missed opportunities in that game was it I guess, is there anything you will put your finger on in terms of why the game went it did? I mean, I know it came down to a, you know, final drive situation, but it's been a while since you guys have been in one of those. Yeah, I mean, it, it was pretty simple. I mean, overall, it was a turnover margin. Offensively, it was not scoring touchdowns in the red zone. Uh, we had to kick some field goals, but also we went for it on fourth and one inside the 10, come up with nothing. Uh, then defensively, it was third down. We couldn't get off the field on third down, which extended the drive, which led to points, but also it keeps our offense on the sideline. So um, team, don't turn it over. Offense, got to get touchdowns. Defensively, we got to improve on third down. And now, you know, you go on the road for the next two games, uh, and, you know, it's an interesting a Saturday night game. Uh, is there, you know, have you started, you know, just in terms of what, Tennessee does have you is there something that you guys hope you could exploit for sure you know we we study them and uh, we're excited about the trip you know they have uh, statistically one of the best defenses in the conference and it'll be a, a challenge there you know their quarterback's been an all-conference player has performed well at Austin P and um, seems to be maybe getting in his groove now uh, you know he transferred learning a new system, new players, and all those type of things. I know we spoke about Ryan a little bit on Saturday as well, and you kind of mentioned that, you know, I think your quote was, you know, he was crying eight minutes ago, and you don't see many people, you know, go out for 250 yards and cry after a game. Um, the emotion of that locker room afterwards, um, what was that like, considering, you know, this team hasn't lost since the opener? Yeah. You know, it was pretty uh, somber and just a lot of disappointment. You know, uh, 
but at the end of the day, you know, we got to respond and use that disappointment to fuel us this week and, and do a great job of responding. Um, but we can't be talking about EKU like it's over. It's moved on. You know, it's all about the Tigers. It's all about um, where are our opportunities to grow and get better at as a football team and, and you know, move forward. So I uh, love that pain, though, to to set in there a little bit so we make sure we learn those lessons and, and uh, we don't unforced errors from a turnover standpoint and then just make sure we realize just how important it is that we turn a, the opponent over. Thanks, Coach. You're welcome. Coach, you want to talk about your wide receiver? And if I say his name wrong, I'm sorry, Ryan Flournoy. Uh, he had a big game, obviously, 15 catches. Nobody in the FCS has had more this year. So he's new to your team this year. What uh, what has he brought uh, to the Red Hawks? Yeah, um, just a tremendous uh, talent. I mean, it doesn't – you know, you don't need a doctor in, in football to, to – pick that out but what makes him different is just the kind of character he has and and he's gone through a tremendous amount of adversity he got here in january and uh ended up being voted a team captain and, and being a team captain here really means something uh, you know it's hard to do i only let uh, i think i ended up letting 11 people even apply and he was one of the 11 that got voted on um by his teammates and that that just says a lot about it and you know, when your best players are your hardest workers, you know, you're generally having a really good year, and that's what we're having. And uh, the sky's the limit for that guy. Well, Coach, appreciate your time this morning. Uh, best of luck this weekend, and then we'll talk to you again next week. Thanks for having me on, Kyle.